is what we're trying to show here is that arrow goes to the front of the machine and the front of the machine is obviously opposite your little shutoff and the shutoff sticker. The arrow goes to the front. So these two pieces here are braced to the frame and the instructions say left and right and if you look real close here, right here, you can see that's part number 2641R for R for right. And the other one is labeled, that one's a little bit harder to see, but that one's labeled with an L. That one's labeled with an L for left. We're gonna be looking at two different things in this one shot here. You can see I already put this leg brace on. So you can see this is the front of the machine. That's the back with that sticker right there. So this is the left hand leg. And you can see this is the two and a quarter inch bolt. That's this guy here. It goes in from the outside in and then it sits in a little channel it's actually a hex channel for this bolt to sit in. Then it has a nylon nut that goes on the other side to tighten it up. Okay, you want to leave these bolts just a little bit loose so these legs can move in and out. That way when you go put the main shaft on, you can actually open these up, sandwich it in, and then bolt it through. You'll come back and tighten all the bolts later. This is the axle here. You can see there's a flat portion flat portion of the axle that interfaces with the drive box and then it has holes on either side you can see this hole is right near the end and the other side is actually in on the axle a little bit this is the drive side of the axle and the hole near the end is the coasting side of the axle the coasting side of the axle goes into the gearbox first, then we'll need to rotate this around to engage with the gearbox and then push it all the way through. Now that, that axle is on, we're gonna put these little clips. You can see it's got a slot in it and that matches up. And that slot matches up to one on the leg here. So this goes on the end of the axle and into that slot. coast wheel is installed on the side with the hole that's all the way to the end. So you slide the wheel all the way on. Then you go to the other side with a washer and that small cotter pin. It's a three quarter inch cotter pin.
this is the handle that goes in the spot that we left open earlier. Uh, it looks to be universal. Bolts are on the same, bolts are at the same distance from either end. So you can just stick that in and then you use two one and a half inch bolts and two lock nuts. Next, we want to attach this gauge and linkage system to the handle. Uh, you put the two bolts in the two bottom holes here. Goes through the handle like that. Okay, next we're gonna attach this hanging piece to this up here. It goes on with one, one and a half inch bolt with, with a washer, then a black spacer washer. Then it goes through the hole there and attach with a nut. That spacer, that spacer washer went through this piece and now this is free. It's tight against the actual handle, but this is free to still allow you to move the handle back and forth. So it spins around that black spacer washer. All right, next we're going to install the control rod here. This piece goes flat edge goes into this little slot here, closer to the bottom. That's for adjustment later when these parts and pieces get old and worn out. You can shift it up and it will tighten and loosen. And then the bottom hook piece goes into a hole on the drop plate, or the shutoff plate on the bottom of the barrel. Put it together with a really teeny tiny half inch long carriage bolt assembly. Okay, so there is a special way that you need to install the connecting rod here. And what you want to do is actually set your opening all the way back and put this so it's connected. So this is fully open now, fully open. That's important. So we go down to the connecting rod. We want to, see I can push and pull this connecting rod and what we want to do is pull it or push it so the the actual drop holes are all the way open that way all the way open you can set this in the correct position so this is all the way open then once we get that we're gonna tighten the connecting rod bolt here this that little half inch guy you can see this is kind of loose right now then we can tighten this and then we're gonna close it and make sure the drop holes close all the way. Okay, so you can see, now we got this bolt tightened. If I open this all the way, the drop holes are open all the way. Now if I close this, that's all the way down against the little bump stop. And we look at this, drop holes are completely closed, so nothing can get through there. Perfect. Before you go and put everything away, you wanna go and re-tighten the lower bolts. Now that everything is together, we can tighten those uh, till they're super snug. This is how you fully assemble an Earthway 2600 A+. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like, 
subscribe, and maybe leave a comment down there. I'll see you soon.